Hi, this is William Campbell from Fitzgerald and Campbell. This morning we're at the uh, Stanley Moss Courthouse. That's the main courthouse down in uh, downtown Los Angeles um, on two cases. Um, these cases started as uh, settlement cases where we took on clients that had private student loans that were being uh, serviced by Navient Solutions LLC. Those cases ultimately ended up in a uh, in a lawsuit that we filed on behalf of our clients against Navient Solutions LLC. Uh, the contracts at issue in, this case, in these two cases have what's called an arbitration clause. This arbitration clause allows uh, the parties, any one of the parties, to file a motion to compel arbitration. Motions to compel arbitration were filed by Navient. The court uh, uh, ordered arbitration, uh, but what we were doing here today is, is advising the court about where we are in the arbitration process. We filed the arbitration, uh, we're at issue, uh, uh, and, and ready to litigate it, uh, through the arbitration process. The message I'd give to consumers though is, look, when you sign a contract, whether it's a live signature, whether it's electronic signature, you need to look at the terms. And if there's an arbitration clause in there, that does not benefit you. There's a reason why uh, these big companies put those arbitration clauses in their contract. It's not to help you, it's to help them. So, you know, my advice to you is if there is an arbitration clause, really think twice about what you want to do with that contract. And if it gives you the ability to opt out of the arbitration clause, you got to do it. Uh, because that arbit those arbitration clauses are not helpful to consumers. They're only helpful to the banks and the lending institutions and the servicers. So look, today, today we're, we're still moving forward with our claims against Navient Solutions and we're, we're, we're confident we'll get a, um, a uh, good resolution for both of our clients. Uh, so this is a good day for our clients, good day for Fitzgerald and Campbell.